So the state of Delaware has three counties, Kent, Newcastle, and Sussex, uh, and the House of Representatives, uh, their local, the state House of Representatives has 41 members, uh, and we want to divide these representatives, uh, among these, these counties. Uh, they don't actually do this, but, or they're not required to do this, but let's pretend. Uh, and so let's use Hamilton's method to apportion those 41 seats. So step one is to find what's called the divisor. Uh, the divisor is, is simply the, the number of people that each representative should be representing. Uh, so to figure that out, we're gonna take our total population, the 897, 934, and we're gonna divide that by, we're gonna divide that by the number of representatives, the number of seats. And that gives us 21,900 and, you know, for the sake of, of, of calculations, you might as well keep a bunch of decimals. So this is people per uh, representative. So now, we're going to take each of these populations and divide it by that, uh, number of people per representatives. So for example, for Kent, we'll take, uh, 162, 310, divide it by 21,900, and we get, uh, the number 7.4111. This is what's called the quota. This would be, in an ideal world, this is how many representatives they should get. If there's supposed to be 21,000 people per representative, and, uh, they're, they got 62,000 people, then they deserve 7.4111 representatives. Um, we repeat that for Newcastle and Sussex, and we get 24.5872 for Newcastle and 9.0017 for, for Sussex. Now, of course, the, the problem is, um, it's kind of hard to have 0.4111 representatives, uh, and that is what makes apportioning, uh, challenging, is, is that we can only apportion whole numbers of people, uh, to each of the counties here. And so our initial allocation in, in Hamilton's method, the initial allocation says take each of these values and chop it down to the, to the integer value. In other words, drop the decimals. So this will be 7, this will be 24, this will be 9. Now if we add those up, 24 plus 7 plus 9, you'll notice that they only add up to 40, which means we have an extra seat that doesn't have a home yet. Uh, and so Hamilton's method says give that extra seat to the state whose decimal part of the quota was the largest. So we're gonna look at each of these decimal parts and say which one was the biggest. And in this case, the 0.5872 is the largest of, of those, of those, uh, quota decimal parts. And so Hamilton's method says that Newcastle should get that, that last seat. And so in our final apportionment, Kent will end up with 7 seats, Newcastle 25, uh, and Sussex 9.